In this video we will take a look at the slide of lip. The slide is stained with modified green trichrome. That means that collagen fibers are green, muscle tissue is red and nuclei and elastic fiber also are dark, very often black. Uh, on the lip we can recognize two sides, external, external surface which is covered with the thin skin and another side oral surface which is uh, covered uh, with thicker stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium firstly we will focus on the uh, external side the epidermis exhibits stratified squamous Keratinized epithelium uh, with uh, disquamating cells here. The epidermis starts here with basal layer and the cells from basal layer move to the surface and on surface the cells uh, don't have uh, nuclei and here is a disclamating layer uh, beneath the epidermis is the dermis with the uh, sebaceous gland here you can see sebaceous gland very often associated with the hair follicle and uh, another skin gland is uh, sweat gland here this is the sweat gland in dermis so Uh, the sebaceous gland uh, are usually associated with uh, hair follicles and these glands uh, are pear-shaped uh, secules here with um, uh, short duct which opens to hair follicle each secules uh, which uh, is uh, filled uh, with uh, large cells and with ho whose uh, nuclei are in various states of uh, degeneration. Mm, on the periphery uh, of the secule is, uh, mm, is composed of uh, small, darker uh, cells. Their shape uh, is uh, cuboidal, and as the cells move away from uh, the periphery to the center, uh, they enlarge and uh, increase their cytoplasmatic fat content. And near the duct, the cells um, degenerate and become the secretion. Uh, you know uh, that uh, the sebaceous gland are uh, classified as simple uh, branched uh, glands with holocrine uh, type of secretion. So here is uh, one uh, secule, another secule, another secule. Uh, uh, the basal layer uh, of cells on the periphery of the secule contains darker cuboidal cells and uh, the cells move uh, to the center uh, filled uh, the sebaceous sebose, the, the oil and uh, near the duct to uh, uh, degenerate uh, the nuclei is uh, the nuclei are uh, very small, and uh, this is the remains of uh, nuclei. And uh, 
from cell, uh, make, uh, cells become uh, uh, secre secretion of uh, these gland. So uh, another gland is uh, uh, sweat gland. Sweat glands uh, are the most numerous uh, in the body. Uh, the glands are uh, simple, unbranched. Uh, sorry, and uh, coiled gland, uh, which produce uh, uh, watery solution. Uh, the secretory portion of gland is composed of simple cuboidal cells. Here you can see around uh, nuclei of these cells. Um, surrounding the secretory portion are myoepithelial cells. Here you can see flattened uh, nuclei of myoepithelial cells. Uh, and um, their branches uh, encircle uh, the secretory uh, tubule and assist in uh, expressing the fluid into the duct. The duct of uh, sweat glands uh, sorry, uh, is lined uh, with uh, two layers of cuboidal cells. For example, here and here, uh, uh, cells are smaller than uh, uh, the secretory unit and uh, darker. Yeah. Um, you can see in here is the cross section of uh, the duct of sweat gland, and here is a secretory part. Of uh, of the gland, so duct uh, is darker than uh, the secretory portion. So this is the epidermis and dermis. Another side uh, of lip uh, is covered by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium uh, also you can see uh, the uh, basal layer of uh, of cells which uh, also move into the surface uh, the surface layer contains uh, uh, squamous cells with uh, flattened nuclei, the nuclei is still uh, present uh, in the cell, so the uh, name of epithelium is stratified, many layers, stratified squamous, because the surface layer contains squamous cells and non keratinized you can see the desquamating layer. Beneath the epithelium is a connective tissue called lamina propria with uh, mixed gland, serum, serum mucose gland. Uh, the serous cells are oh, have um, uh, round nuclei. Here is a serous gland with the uh, dark round circle nuclei and uh, basophilic cytoplasm because of uh, isomogenic granule. Here is also a secretory uh, part of this gland and here. And uh, many uh, mucose cells here you can see a uh, flattened nuclei uh, on the uh, periphery uh, of nucleus gland and cytoplasm is full of uh, uh, 
products you goose which is uh, very very pale very very light substance in the cytoplasm of uh, mucous cells and uh, their duct is very short and uh, open to the oral cavity here you can see the opening here the opening to of duct into the oral cavity. The uh, large duct is covered uh, by uh, uh, stratified uh, columnar epithelium. Uh, smaller duct is uh, lined with uh, one or two layer of cuboidal cells. Here is a duct of uh, mixed gland. A core of lip uh, uh, form uh, skeletal muscle tissue. Uh, here you can see a longitudinal section with uh, striations and uh, the very important the nuclei uh, of uh, the skeletal fibers uh, are uh, located on the periphery. For example, uh, here and here it's a uh, nucleus of skeletal muscle fibers here and you can see a uh, many cross section of skeletal fibers here and also uh, nuclei on periphery And the connective tissue of uh, the lip also contains uh, numerous uh, adipose cells. Mm, for example, oh. here you can see adipose cells. Uh, their uh, nuclei are on periphery also, very flattened. Oh, sorry. Here and here. Uh, the fat uh, vacuole uh, is uh, dissolved uh, during histopathology histological processing. So uh, the cytoplasm is uh, empty and you can recognize only uh, membrane and uh, nuclei of uh, the, uh, these cells. Uh, also we can uh, we can see a uh, nerve fiber here nerve fiber and also here here is a nerve fiber a big uh, blood vessel here it's a big artery and uh, uh, small uh, arteries and uh, venue and because the blood vessels are uh, close uh, to the surface for example here you can see uh, numerous uh, venues the capillaries uh, the color of the blood shows through uh, the thin epithelium and giving the lips a uh, characteristic uh, red color. So that's all. The external side of the lip is covered by uh, epidermis. That means uh, Stratified squamous keratinized epithelium with discrimating layer. Uh, the uh, dermis contains uh, two types of uh, skin gland. Uh, sebaceous, uh, skin gland sebaceous gland is associated with hair follicles here and here. And uh, sweat gland. 
another site or else uh, serve uh, or all site of lip is covered by stratified claim as non keratinized epithelium we can recognize uh, nuclei in the surface cells the lamina propria connective tissue uh, 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 contains mixed gland ser serum mucose serous cells are darker with uh, round nuclei mucous cells uh, are pale uh, with uh, flattened uh, nuclei in the on the periphery and uh, the duct uh, is lined with uh, one or two layers uh, of cuboidal cells a core of lip uh, forms uh, by skeletal muscle fibers uh, which have uh, nuclei on periphery for example here you can see darker nuclei we can recognize nerve fibers and uh, many blood vessels, big artery and uh, venule and capillaries and also adipose tissue. So thank you very much for your attention.